Those Damn Ross Kids is a podcast for adults, and the opinions we express do not reflect the opinions of our employers or even ourselves. If you would like to support the show, go to duckfeed.tv slash tip jar and check out our Patreon campaign. Cool. <laughs> Sorry. I will try. I'll try to keep that to a minimum, but I am still chasing off the very tail end of a cold. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. You've been convalescing. Yeah, I've been uh, been on the mend. Been uh, study diet of Nyquil. Yeah, yeah, I've been I, I've been uh, nuzzling up to the Tussin teat. Hmm. Yeah, I will be working off of the iPhone today, uh, as far as the browser goes. Okay. Because I can't open any more than three tabs without it going nuts. Yeah, yeah, without <laughs> it sounding like it's going to launch off my desk. <laughs> <laughs> is, is it a vacuum? Oh, it's horrible. Yeah. It sounds like it sounds like a like a giant Roomba. It sounds like a giant simile. There we go, that's an intro. Dick. <laughs> Those damn Ross kids. A conversation between brothers. Featuring Chris and Cole Ross. Hey Chris, what episode is this? This is episode number 143. Yeah. Of the internet comedy podcast, Those Damn Ross Kids. And you are? I'm Chris. Who the hell are you? I'm 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 Cole. And we're here to entertain your asses. You specifically yep. asked me to. That, that was all I wanted to say. <laughs> okay. We can go back to the old way now. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, so you gave me a call <laughs> earlier this morning uh, when we were doing the planning saying, hey, we need to change this up. Is, just be- is it because we've been away for a while? No. I, I, I started my Simpsons dive. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's how, how far do you plan to go? To the limit. To the limit. Yep. Oh, so you're so you're just basically doing what I did, except three months later. I'm gonna hit the Truman Wall. You're gonna, what's the? Oh yeah, yeah. No, you're gonna you're you're gonna hit the edge of the known universe. You're gonna get cool. gonna get, gonna go like nuzzle right up to that Dyson sphere. Clunk, clump. Yeah, afraid of water. Bart Simpson is. Yeah, okay. There we go. Who the hell are you right? Now now I get it. Yeah. Right. So so you're so you're dropping science on me that I long ago forgot. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Cool. No. So I finished. I got uh, all the way through season twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> what did you finish on? Uh, <laughs> you know the the the, the use. <laughs> it's yeah, your I, stack of I, technology boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to the I went to I went to the place where I keep the good boxes. <laughs> so this weekend, uh, you know, I, I I order a lot of stuff off of Amazon. I I I ride my prime until the wheels fall off, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I, I went around, and I, I will, I will. What, what happens is, I will open up a box of technology uh, or uh, something from around the house, a bell of some sort, and uh, I will put it, you know, on the nearest flat surface. And then when I'm go- when I go around, and uh, when, when my little machine tells me to do my tidying uh, every two days in various rooms, I will pick up stuff off those flat surfaces and put them in a place that is out of sight. Which this kind of bubbling heuristic takes all of my boxes and detritus. And puts it, you know, in, in, you know, in closets. So I went around all my closets and rearranged my closets and uh, uh, excised, uh, excavated uh, a, a large number of, 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 of Amazon boxes and various other technology boxes and uh, put those in the recycling bin. Right. Not the good boxes. Not the, not, not the good boxes. Basically, I need, to, I need to always be ready to move. I'm month to month, Chris. Are you now? Yeah. Well, good for you. I know. You're gonna ride like much like Russell Brand. Cole rides the rides his prime until the wheels fall off. <laughs> oh, you have no idea how right you are. I guess depending on how depending on how much you hate us, yeah, <laughs> or hate me rather, huh? A lot. Yeah, but these are the things. Yeah, so so I finished the uh, I finished the uh, the Simpsons dive, uh, like a shade under a decade too. It took about it's like four months, I think. To go through twenty five seasons of uh, of of of, uh, of of television, well, you you got other stuff to do. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, 
that's that, that's still a shocking amount of television to get through in that. I mean, if you didn't have anything to do, you could probably get through it in four months. <laughs> cool. Thanks, man. <laughs> no problem. Fuck you too. Well, you know. Ah, oh, well. Mm. We're brothers. Yeah, it's cool. That, we that's can icky. We can do this. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. I really don't. Yeah, so you'll have to you'll have to give me uh, reports and cool. uh, continue dropping those uh, con- continue dropping those bombs. So a couple weeks ago when you were like when you kept on hammering the don't treat your podcast like it's your job. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was fun. Yeah, that was that, that that was pretty good. You kept on saying it. I thought it was just an incredibly like a very uh, mean way for you to comment on the way that I spend my time. I didn't realize until a couple of weekends ago that uh that that you were actually quoting Orange is the New Black to me. Right. Yeah, okay, cool. I mean, it doesn't mean that it's not the first thing, too, but your silence says everything. Uh, I'm good. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. And it does bother me. I mean, it, it, I just didn't know how to articulate it. Oh, and, and to, and, until, uh, until a show about a, lady, a lady's prison, um, you know, elucidated right. it for you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, like, just on this television tip, I, I, over this over my convalescent period from my, from my sinus infection, I went from one kind of person to another kind of person cool who you know why I, no I, I went from uh, i went from person who has never seen the wire to 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 person who saw the wire way too late and wants to talk about it but realizes how awful of a person that makes him not where i thought you were going with that what, what do you mean i thought you went from person who hasn't robo tripped to person who has <laughs> robo tripped i you know i've never done robot test into excess i hear it makes you feel like you're dead maybe you wish you were dead yeah no, no it just makes you feel like everyone else is dead oh you're the only alive person Right. Yeah. Every <laughs> you, you jump in there, you pull out your robo guts, you rehuman, you you rehumanize yourself. Uh huh. Yeah, and you recognize everybody else is just hollow shells. Have you ever been robo tripping and looked at your your veins under blacklight? Uh, no. Have you? Oh yeah, you can see the <laughs> DXM move. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, DMX. What's he got to no. do with this? <laughs> is he all up in here? No, no, no. He doesn't say that, does he? Yeah, he's uh, uh y- y'all, y- no, y'all, y'all D- gonna make your veins lose their mind. DXM. It's the uh, it's the abbreviation for the stuff that makes you drip balls. Oh, the 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 the, the stuff they took out and Deoxy- replaced with uh, extra, guaifenesine. Yeah. Extra, yeah. No, yeah. they put the guy they put the guaifenesine in there, or whatever, to uh, make you sick before you drink too much of it. Oh, okay. So that's poison, right? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. So it's like, so it's like uh, denaturing rubbing alcohol, so it makes the homeless people sick. Is that the green kind? Uh, I don't know. I, I just know that they do they do they do something to rubbing alcohol to make it so it so it doesn't make, you know to make it so that it makes homeless people sick. Same thing with like hand sanitizer and sterno and stuff. Only sell it in brown bags. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm surprised that there's not like brown bag brand liquor. Actually. It's Johnny Bootlegger. It comes in a flask. Yeah, a plastic flask. Yeah. Yeah. Well, down here around around Kentucky Way, they there, there's a lot of uh, a lot of liquors that sell in um, mason jars. Oh yeah, big time. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Green bean liquor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got to get up on that okra, okra sauce. Pickle liquor. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. It's a briny, it? It's a briny steep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I, I get it. It's, it sounds like oh man we we went back we went back to the 1970s and we got that off of a dorm room poster wall pickle, pickle liquor. liquor yeah like all done up in like a like a, like a psychedelic font like basically what she just created was a full page spread in National Lampoon magazine awesome I wonder yeah. what his vinegar strokes look like Ugh. get it yeah pickle? I get it vinegar yeah, yep yeah yeah don't know where strokes fit in. <laughs> listening to the strokes i don't know you know we're, we're, so so this is the business room we just provide ingredients for jokes and everybody else can assemble them we're basically like that new DiGiorno site <laughs> it's like make your own pizza design it yeah we're just gonna sell you a bunch of ingredients in a bag the tuber head brothers yeah it, it's it, it's mm-hmm. yeah it's uh it's it, it's it's comedy podcast deconstructed mm-hmm. yep yeah i don't know asian fusion Mm. Um, so this week, as we record this, and really as this comes out, assuming you're going to do it on the normal time, yeah, back to normal yeah, time, yeah. Um, there was another Malaysian airline crash. Yeah, 
um, shot out of the sky by a uh, a missile. Mm-hmm. Um, really and, terrifying, really scary stuff. Right. Now, you might be asking, where does this fit into the plot of Orange is the New Black? <laughs> You know, you know, um, I think uh, I, I, you know, we, we haven't really found out Nichols's backstory a lot. Uh, my, 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 my theory, Ukrainian separatist. That, that's it. Yeah. So Jason Biggs apparently went to Twitter after he found out about the, uh, the plane being shot out of the sky, the Malaysian Airlines flight. Uh, and he tweeted, uh, anyone want to buy my Malaysian Airlines frequent flyer miles? Oh, he's not going to be able to be the Affleck duck anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> That was such a cherry kick for oh, him too. Geez. He could do all the Saget blowjob jokes he wants. <laughs> you can't can't say Malaysian Airline. That's <sighs> not possible. Yeah. Um, so then he followed that up with all caps. How do you mistakenly shoot down a commercial plane um, on purpose? Mostly. <laughs> he didn't say that, but yeah. Um, he said. Uh, it's saddest for the victims and their families, obviously, but Malaysia Airlines is apparently a great airline. Going to be tough to recover. <laughs> uh, is he trying to... Why, why is Jason Biggs doing a Mala- Malaysian Airline PR? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so then there, there was a tidal wave of public backlash uh, to which he responded, as you should, uh, when, when, you're, when you're drunk with your publicist. <laughs> hey, all you too soon assholes. It's a fucking joke. You don't have to think it's funny or even be on my Twitter page at all. The idea that I wouldn't have any empathy for the victims or their families because I made a joke is ridiculous. Truly, you losers are literally trying to find shit to get angry about. <laughs> yeah, good, good on you. Good on you. It's their fault. For, I'm, you know, I'm so sorry you're upset. Take your fucking lumps. You can't say something controversial and then be upset because people react like it's controversial. You fucking man child. <laughs> hey guys, hey guys, 9-11. Oh, why are you so mad? People died. <laughs> right. They did say that in relation to uh, population, that the loss of life in the Netherlands, from people from the Netherlands, makes that that a tragedy equal to them as 9-11 was to us. Just looking at percentage of population. Huh. Yeah. Statistics. So, 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 so wait a minute. Like, does that make the, the O'Doyle family driving off that cliff genocide? The O'Doyle family? Yeah, Billy Madison deep cuts. Oh, geez. Oh, well, I know, but then it showed back up someplace else. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I mixed if, it up with the O'Poyles. Oh, the McPoyles. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, no, no. Mc, oh, what's the difference? Yes, yeah, yeah, I mean, it is a it is a readily citable fact. Okay, so so, all right. So so the Malaysian Airlines uh, uh, tragedy is to the Netherlands as nine eleven is to America, as Brian Doyle Murphy dying is to the Murphy family. Correct. Or, Murray. Yeah, Murray. Yeah, <laughs> Murphy O'Doyle. What are you doing, Cole? Why'd you say cracked? Are, are, are we are we on I some said, like? No, code? I said correct. Correct. Okay, cool. Yeah. No, I was just letting you go off the rails. Yeah. No, that's fine. Cool. I was gonna let you dig a tweet hole. <laughs> oh shit! Jason Biggs is deep in a tweet hole. Why? Okay, Chris. Why does anybody follow Jason Biggs on Twitter? Why? Why aren't you? <laughs> I could have seen this in real time. Like, I, I you know, I, I'm about maybe eight years too late on the Twitter train. I use Twitter a lot. You know, Twitter is a big way of how we promote stuff on this network. It's fine. I'm down with it. But like, you follow people because they got like interesting shit to say, not because they were in like a thing that you saw once. First the off, two, go, first off, what? No, I just like what like why are celebrities tweeting for themselves anyway? Like we we've seen time and again, like what is it? Uh what, what what's his face? Mr. Johnny McRape song. Uh 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 Mr. Mr. T's son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Johnny <laughs> McRape song T. No, um what's what's his name? Robin Thick. Alan Thick. Robin Thick. He Rob, did like an no. yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh Mr. Mr. Stripe Mr. Stripe Suit. Mr. Seaver's son. Yeah, yeah. 
he did uh like he, he did like an ask me anything on twitter and people were just like yeah well, like wh- why'd you write a song about like all that stuff like you're awful no 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 i've never even heard the song like, like, no like, no that's the end of the theme song i think uh, to okay. the, yeah to the growing pains yeah <sighs> you ever you ever get like a little melody in your head that doesn't resolve itself like it doesn't go back to the root yeah, sometimes. Yeah. The one thing I the one thing I did want to say before we move on is no, we're, not, uh, we're not moving on. This is a subtopic. That there's, that there's two there's two things you don't have to pay for a ticket to see, uh, and they're the most compelling things to me. Um, number one is a car accident, and number two is watching someone throw it all away. <laughs> and for Jason Biggs, what's he going to throw away? Is TBS going to not show American Pie as much? He's on. He's on. O is the new B. I know. But like his his role in the plot was diminishing anyway. Not no spoilers. But oh yeah, yeah. I mean, they like he figures. Oh, they're gonna write me out, so I might as well go out in a blaze of glory. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. No, fuck you, and fuck any celebrity who thinks people care what you have to say. Evidently, we do. Be, be funny. <laughs> Ugh. Fuck you, Jason Biggs weird looking dude eugene levy's son <laughs> this actually segues nicely into, into another story i have does it i'll oh, do it do it yeah um evidently in oregon 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 uh there's a, a lawsuit that's been filed against the university of oregon by a fired public safety officer it's like a campus cop yeah um, I don't know why he filed the lawsuit, but as part of filing the lawsuit, he um, has brought out a fantastic list his fellow officers compiled of people that, quote, should eat a bowl of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how do you prepare a bowl of dicks? Saute in no. a light butter sauce? <laughs> right, basically. Um, it's 225 names or things. Um, on the list, and the, the list is whole. They, the the lawsuit says that they would actually spend time during their shift meetings, a lot time during their shift meetings, to um, discuss additions or subtractions from the list of people who should eat a bowl of dicks. <laughs> uh, and then people would just basically stay around this guy's office all day instead of being on their beat, discussing um, who was added or subtracted from the people who should eat a bowl of dicks. Um, do you have anybody that just comes to mind first off besides Jason Biggs? Like people or things that I wish would eat a bowl of dicks? Right. Like who should be on this list? <sighs> like what's the scope here? Are we talking like international figures? Or I'll, I'll give you an example. Mick Jagger's arm fat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, uh, fingernail clippers. Ray Lewis. The guy who wrote the Ghostbusters? No, theme he's song? a football player. Oh, okay. <laughs> Parker Lewis. <laughs> yeah, f- f- fucker's got to be taken down a peg. Right. Um, Comcast. Okay, I can I could I can get down with that one. <laughs> one light out high beam drivers. <laughs> okay, so is this just like a like like a, like a like a burn book? Like a like a, like a like a middle schoolers like you know we're gonna we're gonna keep this in the bathroom and just like like just talk shit in this in this notebook. Carrot top. <laughs> the Hogan the Hogan family. Who's the Ho- Hulk Hogan? Yeah, the whole family. Oh well, yeah, I guess I guess he did open up his family to uh to a certain amount of scrutiny when he did dot that show. Org, dot org websites. This guy he's he's got his thumb on the cultural zeitgeist. The 1990 NBA Finals. <laughs> okay, can you tell me who was in that? No, no clue. No clue? Al Roker. SpongeBob. <laughs> okay. Spandex on fat people. Yeah. The original first responder guy. First respond. I don't I don't know. Like I fallen and I can't get up? Um no, like 911 first responders. Oh. Huh. I think it's yeah. like a weird. Well, no, the first guy that was like eat cap- a bullet dicks ca- heroes capitalizing off of it. Oh you know? yeah, yeah. 
the first guy that thought he should eat at a buffet for free. <laughs> People, the, the first guy who started furiously printing T-shirts. Off ramp bums. Yeah, you. Know. Twin Falls, Idaho. Yeah, you know, you went there. And they undercooked the eggs at the Denny's there. It's a real, it's a, it's a real shit show. I hate that. I want it over hard. Yeah. So that's what they spent their time doing. I thought that was pretty interesting. Yeah. So there's I, probably people saying Jason Big should eat, you know, should eat a bowl of dicks. Maybe. Yeah, I just, you know, I, I think I flipped on this. I think that is a very valuable. Do you think of anybody else who is doing that? Um, What do you mean? Doing, making that list? Yeah. I don't, yeah. I mean, I'm sure that there's, I have a dry erase board here, but. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I think that that's valuable work. If nobody else is doing it, then they're filling a niche. Right. Yeah. Hey, Chris, we've been away for a little while, so I figured uh, we'd come back with a bang, with a ball, Boom. with a bingo, boshk, with a quiz. All right? So, mm-hmm. you know how I do. Sometimes I can't sleep, laying in bed with the iPad, just uh, looking up stuff, and sometimes you fall down a wiki hole. And uh, right. sometimes you find... Something that is really inspiring, really goofy. In this case, I was doing a bunch of reading on the KKK. <laughs> it's interesting. They're like a they're like a gang, you know, right? And like any kind of gang, they've got a they've got a structure. There's a there there's an internal society that they're running on. But uh, some of their terminology a little bit goofy. So true. I'm going to give you a category, and within each category, there's going to be two items uh, that are real. And one item that is made up. Okay. I want you to name the one that is made up. Okay. Okay. Lieutenants. These are the people who serve the uh, the, the, the highest ranking people in any given cell of the KKK. Okay. All right. And these are their titles. Hydras. Griffins. Goblins. Which Griffins. one is fake? <laughs> yep. That is... <laughs> <laughs> wow yeah huh i'm in a lot of clubs <laughs> you know what i may be a freemason a communist a member of the homosexual alliance but i'm not a communist it's gonna be like a 12-hour funeral just because of all the all the shit they gotta do when i die <laughs> you're like the kid who tried to get in as many yearbook photos as possible right <laughs> okay how did he get both the Knights of Columbus and the Nubian Brotherhood? I don't understand. Wow. Yeah. So did I just wander into your wheelhouse, Chris? Is there a is there is there something we need no, to talk about? I'm not gonna no, I'm not no. <laughs> nope. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. No, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, so Hydras are real. They assist the Grand Dragon and uh goblins a little bit lower down. Uh their assistance to the Grand Giant. <laughs> Dragon or giant? Uh, well, no. I mean, just uh, the the hydras serve the dragon, and the goblins serve the giant. I don't okay. know what's I don't know what's like hard about this for you. Good for you. Yeah. All right. Okay. Moving on. Tribunals. You know, every organization when it reaches a certain size has to uh, they got to keep their shit on lockdown. The judiciary, right? Okay. So, tribunals. The Grand Council of Ghouls. The Grand Council of Yahoos. The Grand Council of Centaurs. The Grand Council of Yahoos. Mm-mm-mm. Ghouls? Nope. <laughs> yep. God damn it, that was my first thought. Second. You know, just like little green ghouls. Yeah, which is why I thought you did that. Yeah. And I was like, well, if you can have goblins, then why can't you have ghouls? <laughs> Every KKK hall is outfitted with an arcade machine of ghouls and goblins. Well, yeah, but see, here's the thing: is that are we talking about American rules or international? I, I mean, I think internationally, it's just you know neo Nazis. Okay. Yeah. So we're so All this right. is American specifically. But. Yeah. Damn it! I should have said ghouls. You, you really should have said ghouls. Although ghouls, that is actually a KKK term, but that is a rank and file member of the of the KKK. They're 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 ghouls because of the uh, ghost like. Uh, what, a get up, they got. what a mess i know right uh the grand council of yahoos is uh, it's like internal affairs that's uh you know like looking at the higher ups and the grand council of centaurs uh they're the tribunal that puts ghouls to trial okay yeah <laughs> jurisdictions chris 
because you know you, you, you got to figure out what uh what, where everything is. Here we go. Okay. The alien world. The invisible empire. The under realm. The under realm. Damn it! <laughs> How'd you get that one? It, it, it's uh, all, it's no, all, it's all good. Guess. It's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was just a guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the under realm, that's uh, that's me. Uh, the alien world is anything outside of the KKK, and uh... <laughs> yeah, well, it's your universe. <laughs> and uh, the invisible empire is uh, any land that the KKK controls. Sure. So it's their turf. Their turf is the invisible empire. All right. Okay. All right. Acronyms. These are uh, words that uh, you know that you say in lieu. Of, it's like initialisms, right? Right, right. Okay. A wall. Kiggy. Kiggy. K i g y. Okay. L- labia. L a y b i a. Sandbog. S a n b o g. Sandbog. <laughs> nope. Ah, uh, labia. <laughs> you really got to trust your gut, dog. I know. <laughs> Sandbog is strangers are near beyond guard. <laughs> Kiggy is Klansman, I greet you. And um, Labia is me. Uh, if I was pressed on that, I was going to say, look around you, be incredibly alert. Mm, well, <laughs> Labia. <laughs> <laughs> labia. All right. And finally, the names for ruling bodies. Okay. All right. Clonclave. Clongris. Clan Burgess. Yeah. Oof. All begin with Kale. So. Was it Clangris? <laughs> no, Clongris. Clongris. Was that your guess? Yeah. Yeah. Nope. That's the upper house. Oh, <laughs> that is man. the upper legislative that creates new rules. The Clan Burgess is the lower house, like Burgesses, like House of Burgesses. Mm-hmm. Clonclave was me. <laughs> well, that makes. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> How fucked up is this? They're, they're like the original terrorist group of the United States. And they're running around with ghouls and dragons. They might as well just be like incredibly insular LARPers. It's kind of what they are. I mean, they don't really they don't really do anything like they used to. <laughs> do they, yeah, I think they still burn crosses. I think they do. I think mostly they they they, they go around they go around and uh uh get you know get the ACLU to protect them. Now, was there a story that led you to that? No, no. I was just like reading. I, I, you, you know, you, you fall down a wiki hole, right? <laughs> Propaganda, right? No. <laughs> I was just I was just looking into alternative lifestyles. Right. Yeah. <laughs> this one's not working out so great. <laughs> um. Oh man! Oh man! So yeah, yeah. Because there is a story in the news about the clan. Is there? Yeah. What is it? Um. The Klan is, 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 has a nationwide recruitment effort, and the Klan in South Carolina decided to join that recruit, recruitment effort by um, passing out candy sacks on people's doorsteps on, store, doorsteps on Saturday night and Sunday morning. Um, included in the candy sacks was a paper that said, Save Our Land, Join the Klan. It included a phone number that led to an automated message about the group's efforts against illegal immigration. Robert Jones, a imperial caliph of the loyal <laughs> white knights, says that the overnight drops were part of part of their nationwide recruitment effort, and that they had received twenty thousand phone calls daily at the hotline. Wow. Yeah. One resident in the neighborhood sh- said, "You shouldn't have to wake up in fear that somebody might burn a cross in your yard." <laughs> You shouldn't have to wake up fearing that somebody's going to leave delicious treats. This is grand this, is this the kinder, life. softer, softer clan, the yeah, Kleiner, Klofter clan. Jones is this grand caliph guy, Clayliff or whatever you say. Yeah, um, he says that they did not target specific homes. He said, we can't tell who lives in a house, whether they're black, white, Mexican, or gay. We just can't tell that. And if you were to look at somebody's house like that, that means you would pretty much be a racist. You're fucking with me. Nope. <laughs> so shouldn't you be like wicked qualified? Like you have to have like a 99.99% like accuracy rate on this. Otherwise your whole ideology is flawed. 
Yeah. Well, no, no, that would be racist. <laughs> oh, what, what, uh, what are you thinking? I'm some kind of monster? Oh, well, you are running around wow. like a ghoul. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Green little ghouls. What? No, just no. Just it sounded like you made a like you had a uh, you had a revelation. If I did that, I'd be a pedophile. Well, <laughs> no, that's your I mean, member is inside a child. Yeah, well, I mean, it's like, oh. it's like, it's like the clock calling the kettle clack. <laughs> right. Oh God, this this fucking country, man. Broken. <laughs> Broke and broken. Hmm. Morally, economically, there's no hope. No, no, we're 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 riding this one down. But you know, there are places where prosperity is in is uh, is in effect. Places where efficiency needs to go through the roof. What's the most common like excuse for just like, oh man, I got I gotta like skip a day. Hangover. <laughs> I'm not talking. About, that's not an excuse, Chris. That's like honesty. That's an explanation. <laughs> Oh no! Like what? Like, Monday. Oh, what's that? Monday. <laughs> Monday. Oh, you're turning. It's Garfield. You're on that Garfield tip, right? <laughs> okay, I'm, like, I'm simultaneously lasagna. rewatching The Simpsons and Garfield and Friends. <laughs> you know, I just, I just dip in. I love that U.S. Acres. Sheldon, more he's a, a trip. More of a Heathcliff kind of guy, but uh, okay, yeah. You know, it was, it was, it was. Uh, what was it? Riff Raff, who, uh, who ate the 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 fish skeletons? It wasn't Heathcliff? No, it was the purple acid. <laughs> Yeah. No, no, but it's uh, going to the dentist, right? Oh, that's the excuse. Yeah, I, I can't come in. I got I got a dentist appointment, right? Right. What's the second? Uh, well, no, this is uh, really just a setup. Yeah, I'm, oh. I'm, I'm going in diagonal, Chris. I'm, I'm just sidling on into the story. Well, not the case in uh, Silicon Valley, where a new craze is sweeping the streets. Scooter mm. accident. <laughs> Scooter accident. <laughs> It's it's like uh it's like that one uh, that one movie Crash not the Brandon Fraser one but the let's fuck our let's fuck our amputee holes one yeah just like they're they're out there they're party crashing on their Vespas I ramped my Vespa <laughs> I flipped my Vespa into the bay right yeah no <laughs> scooter crashes <laughs> I tried to jump the Google bus on my Vespa yes. <laughs> Yes, Sc- Scooter Crash is my favorite character from the water. I could have made it. I could have made it. If, <laughs> could, I made it if I didn't try to do it long ways. Yeah. <laughs> try to be like. Okay, so if uh, if uh, Silicon Valley was uh, like like a like a modern day retelling of uh, of Happy Days, like the equivalent of the Fonz trying to jump his Vespa over six Google cars. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And then mm. it crashes. He crashes right into Pinky Tuscadero, who is uh, just like a like a like a like a router, I guess. I don't even know who that is. No, uh, P- Pinky, Pinky Tuscadero. I don't know. Like I said, she the, the, the female equivalent of Fonzie. She was billed as like uh, the you know the next big thing. They introduced her and, and her and her little sister Leather, but uh, none of the cast liked her, so uh, they they got rid of her. <laughs> Pinky Tuscadero, much, much D- like a real family. Yeah, d- <laughs> died of uh, <laughs> d- died of breast cancer here recently. Why won't you go away? Well, I mean, she did. She's talking she, to she's you. She's dead as fuck. <laughs> oh, sorry. Thanks. Cool. <clears throat> no problem. All right. Yeah. No. No. So the, the the new craze, you know, after after you fuck up your grill uh, by by crashing your scooter into leather Tuscadero, uh, you uh, you've got you've got mobile dentistry. Just a big old just a big old van has two seats. Uh, just roll around from uh from, from you know tech company to tech company. And uh, within 45 minutes, you can do things such as get uh, teeth cleaning, root canals, cavity fillings, and even veneers. If you, you got to look smart for that next, uh, for that next little uh, you know meeting that you got, a pitch to your to your VCs, to your venture capitalists. Got to got to slap some veneers on there, you know. Just go out there within 45 minutes. Hey, we can see 100 patients a week. Average time to go to a regular dentist three to four hours. Who has time for that? Even if your smartphone is connectable from anywhere, even if you know you you are on the Internet of Things and you can work from any place, you know, still that 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 is lost that you know that that, that is lost productivity. That is a life drain, and uh, you know, uh, the, the 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 spokesman for the company, which is uh, called Studio Dental, uh, says, "Hey, this improves your work life balance," <laughs> by which we mean take all of the life out of work <laughs> and make it all work. Have fun. No more balance anymore. Help it. Get rid of it. Cool man, Studio Dental. Yeah, what else could you offer in a van? 
They already have a blood mobile. Uh, Uber's delivering uh, is de- is delivering ice cream now. Prostate stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the butt stuff. Yeah, it's the butt stuff. Mo- yeah. Butt stuff mobile. Yeah, yeah. No, just uh, it's okay. New business We're, idea. Where the, I'm from, the, the exhaust pipe. We, we we buy a fleet of uh, of Trans Ams. We we uh, we we we, we uh, refurb them. We go down to halfway houses. We staff up uh, a, a new company called the Exhaust Pipe, and we go around giving mobile prostate exams. I guess. In my neighborhood, the butt stuff, the butt stuff mobile is just the ice cream truck. But <laughs> yeah, I mean every every neighborhood. Yeah, I mean let's let's admit it here: the ice cream truck is just this generation's Pied Piper. Gonna, hey. <laughs> gonna, gonna lure the kids off, sell them, in, sell them off to uh, be slave soldiers. Hey, everybody, watch! I'm gonna do the push pop. Oh God. No, it's a what, dance what the from fuck the was 50s. It? It's a push me pull you. Uh, yeah, no, it's what the what the fuck is a push pop? Is that sherbet? Sherbet? Ah, uh, it's Flintstones. You, yeah, it's a, it's like essentially like a toilet paper tube with a with, no, a, I, with I a, remember with a, with a push rod. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was a piston. It's a pist- right. it's a piston pop. Yeah, it's a piston of orange goo. Mmm, appetizing. Who wants? Uh, some? Yeah, I'll, I'll run across a busy street for that. Dollar fifty. <laughs> all right new business ice cream truck uh that is staffed entirely from people uh who couldn't bounce back after snatch <laughs> all extras from snatch dola fifth my love that was actually boston but... was it oh okay yeah. yeah fucked up accent vans it's a deep cut what, what is it's from adam sandler's first uh, album actually is it wow yeah, Tall Booth Willie. Tall Booth Willie. Huh? Welcome to Worcester. Dollar twenty five, please. <laughs> well, now you're just straight up Sean Connery. What the fuck, Chris? I think your accents have wanderlust. Really? Yeah. Huh? Maybe they're immigrants. <laughs> it should be tolerant. Boston Scott. Hmm. Which is his name, actually. Like the the, the guy from this. Uh, comedy him, album 30 years no, ago no the new one that i made up my voice is boston scott it's boston scott <laughs> he's a globe trotter a trailblazer yeah i'm gonna need your uh expert opinion uh seattle police have not identified a woman uh involved in well an incident uh, they have told reporters that she became belligerent when told by the manager of um, Broadway Dick's Drive-In uh, to leave. She hurled condiments and a charity box at the staff behind the counter uh, and then concluded her rant by pulling down her pants and began performing a blank in front of Dick's employees. Piano concerto. Under the line of where you're going to fill in this Mad Lib, I will say lewd act. <laughs> did they did they blank it out? No. Nope. In, in the article? Not this article. Okay. Can can it like let, let, let charades this one word or two? Um, it's a sentence, I think. S- started started performing. <laughs> started performing a. Will no, it, it says, it says she, she started performing a lewd act, and then uh, there's a new sentence. She did what? Uh, I mean, my original answer was piano concerto, and that's probably true. Uh, that's the most likely scenario. She uh, she she flicked the bean. Oh, that's gross. Oh man, why did I say that? Do I, I don't a- know. <laughs> <laughs> she 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 listened to the spoon song me and the bean uh <laughs> no she uh she she pointed directly at, at her at her business and said y'all can't afford this <laughs> I, I, I man that's that's tough i mean it's hard not to go like straight up on the nose penetrating herself with a summer sausage oh okay i was gonna go with winter by which I mean a frozen like Johnsonville uh, pig in a blanket, right? Yeah, yeah. Corn that's dog. what she did. Yeah, she she used her 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 pelvic cavity to house a summer sausage. I mean, was it was it up there for 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 storage? 
I mean, you ever tried to have a room temperature summer sausage? It's like a meat locker in here. 98.6 degrees is the ideal temperature for sausage. Yep. She caused $75 worth of damage. I mean, does that include the psych bills or? No, that's all all I got. Hmm. Maybe you should say something else. Maybe I should. Oh, another story. I thought that I thought you'd have better a better guess than piano concerto. Yeah, sorry. It's yeah, yeah. Too much Mr. Holland's opus for you. Do Do we know what uh, what that lady's uh, what that lady's financial situation was? <laughs> yeah, I, I assume in poverty. <laughs> poverty. That's funny. <laughs> no, no. Um, yeah. <laughs> A lot of people turn to like desperate acts when they're desperate, right? Right. She probably wanted some attention. She was in there. She didn't get her condiments. Uh, you know, she, she for, for for her uh, for Frank from her meat locker. Um, but uh, yeah, maybe you know, if she had a place to live, if she had a roof over her head, um, you know, she probably wouldn't have to turn to that. Also, you know, what if that roof over her head uh, raised awareness for local businesses? Mm? Okay. Okay. Yeah, Chris. There's a solution for homelessness coming out of Slovakia. All right. Advertising on the box. <laughs> no, even better than that. Putting they, they they take it and they turn it. Chris, imagine this: small little lean tos. Small houses are all the rage right now. People could probably pay a lot of money for this or subsidize it like this. Wedge shaped houses on the sides of streets, on the sides of intersections. Uh, billboard on one side, billboard on the other, so people coming from both sides can see it. And in the space in between, a little house for homeless people. Huh. Yeah. Thought it would be a public restroom. They'd call them wee peas. <laughs> this has been Those Damn Roskets. Oh, man, Chris, do you want me to tell them what they can do? Uh, I wish you would. Okay, cool. Well, you can go to uh, Facebook.com slash Those Damn Ross Kids. Uh, you know what? Submit topics. Submit stories. Submit all these things. Or you can go to uh, DuckBeat.tv slash contact. Uh, we'd, I, you know, I, I personally would like to get more of your involvement in this because I know whenever we go away, people ask about it. And I'd like to know that you're out there. So uh, those are ways that you can uh, feed into the show. Otherwise, uh, you can just like us and show support there. Or, uh, you know, go to uh, patreon.com slash DuckFeedTV, kick a couple bucks. Uh, this is the last episode we'll be recording on the current audio setup. The new setup is going to be sleek and shiny, thanks to some of those dollars. Uh, yeah, I'm excited about that. Um, and in general, Chris, is there anything else they can do besides rating, reviewing, and telling a friend? No, that's, yeah, you got uh, it. I, sorry, America. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>